We're at the grave of a great man of God. Someone who gave his life for the gospel. For the solemn league and covenant written in blood. There's been bloodshed in this place. Of McAfee. Who was slaughtered. Shot. Oh father we come. By a man described on this grave as bloody Bruce, Captain Alexander Bruce of His Majesty's Regiment of Dragoons, probably in January 1685. This attack against the gospel, as we can see, goes back centuries in this area. It's still going on. But instead of taking people who are Christian out to be shot like McAfee was, who was sick with fever in this wonderful village of Straton. He died for the Kirk here. And what does the Kirk represent? Mm. The Kirk represents personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And they're looking to close it down here. And I have come in the name of Jesus to prevent this happening. And I say to the Pharisees and Sadducees who are running the Church of Scotland at this time, that the Kirk is not a business, it's an all-out surrender represented here at this grave by Covenanter, the man McAfee, like the two Margarets at Wigton, giving lives, shedding blood, not for the Kirk to be a business, as no. they look to sell off the buildings like is behind me now, Lindsay is taking photographs of. McAfee was ill in his farm. And government forces, I understand, on instruction of the court at air, sent, as described here, bloody Bruce, to take a sick man out, full of fever, to be shot because of his stand for the gospel. Lindsay and I at this time are at the Bible College of Wales, original vision, whose founder, Rhys Howells, was at Cardenas House in Dumfries and Galloway. At the, at the a parish. What's the name of the parish, Lindsay? Uh, in, 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 Cardenas House. Uh, Cardenas House within oh, the yes. parish. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. <laughs> In uh, little country, uh, I put it. I put it. I put it in the uh, information on YouTube. Forgive me. I'm so in the spirit here. Oh, my heart's going out, Lord, for this Kirk here, Arthog, not Arthog. No, it begins with E. It begins with E. It'll come to me. I tell you, my heart here though is at Straighten at this time, and here in Straighten, this man was taken out to be shot, full of fever, going immediately to heaven. Mm. Why? Because the establishment church wanted to place bishops as mediators between man and God. Let me tell you the scriptures today, there was only one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. He knew what it was to not bow down to the establishment order. We at Whitton have been threatened by representatives of government agency mm. and the planning department at Dumfries, threatened not to open our doors. A man coming to our doors saying, don't let out what you have. You spirits of darkness, you're doing the same thing as in McAfee's day. But today you'll use legal actions. Our ministry having to give up thousands of pounds worth of resources from the gospel cause because of spirits operating today through government departments like they operated through government departments then. But in those days, they drowned martyrs at the stake. In those days, they took them out of their sick beds to be shot. The spirits are the same, the objectives the same, that they prevent the gospel message 
that you can be saved only by the blood of the Lamb. And you can have personal relationship with Jesus Christ like McAfee knew about. But to be a true Christian, one has to understand it is a martyr's life, mm. picking up our cross to follow him. And if we suffer together with him, we will be glorified together, just as McAfee was. They're coming now to close this kirk. A local lovely lady said to me, they're threatening the members here not to challenge the closer of this church. But I've been sent by the Spirit of God to challenge the kirk elders of 121 George Street to say you are out of order. You have made the kirk into a den of thieves, made your website into an estate agency for the sale of old church buildings. You say there are not enough ministers. You wait for them re to retire like I understand is going on here. But let me tell you, the royal priests of the believers is what the covenanters stood for. You did not have to have special training masonically organized through textual criticism to be a true minister of God. You got to have given your life and prepared to be a martyr for McAfee is the example of a true minister of God. And unless you have that example, you'll sell off these buildings built by those who have given their life savings for these buildings to be built. You are a shower of bastards at 121 George Street. Bastard is a biblical word. It means people without a father. For the way you are behaving yourselves, you are without the father, without the moving of the spirit, without the shed blood of the lamb. For without repentance, you are truly damned. Unlike McAfee here, who is prepared to give his life for the Kirk and what the Kirk stood for, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. What you stand for is the money changing spirits of the temple and Jesus cast them out as I in Jesus name cast you out today in the Kirkyard of Strayson in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this intercession. It has been taken place in the straightened kirkyard. Thank you for the members here who are fighting for this building to stay open. Thank you for their faithfulness. And we reject the spirit operating from 121 George Street and declare only Jesus is Lord of the Kirk, not man's intellect, not man's thirst for money, not man's estate agency, but the estate of God, which is in heaven. And I pray this place to stay open and the original heart of the Covenanters come back to the Kirk yes. and textual criticism, which is at the root of all this, intellectual understanding rather than by the Spirit, be now removed in the name of Jesus. Now I'm coming round to turn this camera around so you can see this Kirk. And there it is, so just move it up there. This is the Kirk they're looking to close down, which we have stopped in the mighty name of Jesus. These are the graves once more. It's precious covenanted graves to tell us of the martyrdom of the saints. And this particular case of McAfee slaughtered but after being taken from his sickbed in 1686.